Folks death is another life loss due to the string of gun violence. We've seen plague central PA recently. Two others include 19 year old Tymesia Miller and her unborn baby boy. She was shot last month in Harrisburg while pregnant with her son. Still, no one is charged with her murder. Just a few weeks before her death, 27 year old Christian Watt was murdered in a store. This happened also in Harrisburg. Today, people gathered to remember their loved ones that died due to gun violence. CBS 21's Maxine Rose was in Lancaster earlier today and brings us the latest on how victims of gun, gun violence are not being forgotten. It was a very happy, bright day here at Colton Park, but for the dozens of people here today, the event also serving as an important reminder of the lives they've lost. To you, you look at these shirts, these are all just names, but to us, these are our family members. Each shirt represents a life that should be here with us today. Lindsay Martin says her life changed forever when her fiance, Kendall Cook, was murdered in a shooting in May 2021. Cook's friend, Anthony White, also found dead this past Monday. Every person in their own way is affected by this. And in January 2024, Monet Gonzalez losing her 19 year old son, Elliot T. Corbin III. I would do anything in the power to keep my son's name alive. Today's event, a collaboration between Martin's organization, the Kendall Movement, and SOWI, which organizes annual block parties for Lancaster's Southwest neighborhood. Unfortunately, summer is typically when we see a spike in gun violence. So we really wanted the community to come out in force. When you look at this kind of showing for an event like this, you know that violence and particularly firearm violence is something that this community is serious about their legislators taking action on. Activities available today, like CJ's Hoop for Hope, which started after the death of CJ's son in 2009, encouraging young people to get involved in their community. Basketball teaches you so many things, ups and downs, just like life, you know what I mean? It's there's good days and bad days off, you know, in, on the street, and there's good and bad days on the court. I love seeing the kids having fun, and then I honestly love seeing the adults joining in with the kids and having fun. This is the community coming together for something so negative, but turning out to be so positive. Martin says that she actually hosted a cookout here last year, and she also does Thanksgiving community meals to help raise awareness about the toll that shootings and gun violence can take on families and the community. It's just another way to help the neighborhood show up for one another. In Lancaster, Maxine Rose, CBS 21 News.